It has now been two weeks since homes and businesses were ruined by flooding in Akron and surrounding areas. Tonight, we have more from our Mitty Hicks, who shows us that recovery is far from over. I have never seen a flood like that in this area before. This is what Kate Lawson saw in the parking lot as she approached her small business the next morning after flooding here in Akron. I came down in the valley and saw bulldozers and deep mud and they were bulldozing the mud off the roads and got to the parking lot and I couldn't even get in the parking lot. The mud was so deep. The mud made it into her shop. She says the water was at least four inches. She lost almost everything. Some of her things like dresses, hats and fabric she's been collecting since the 70s. I was totally in shock. Too many things touching the floor that were ruined and we had to get the water out of the building. I had the ceiling fans going, turned up the air conditioning to try to dry out the building so there wouldn't be mold. These floors inside her vintage shop are supposed to be black, not brown, but the mud from the flooding is still sticking to the floor. This flooding has cost her her livelihood. I've been out doing shows on the weekends. That's how I make my main source of income for the summer. And I had to cancel a show that I had planned. In the meantime, she's been working tirelessly to get her things out of here because she's leaving this building. What's keeping you going? I've got a show this weekend at the Tiki Underground in Cuyahoga Falls. I've got two shows coming up in September, the Ohio Vintage Fest in Cuyahoga Falls, and I'll be at the Ingenuity Fest for three days. One thing hurting business owners here is a lot of them, like Kate Lawson, don't have flood insurance, so a lot of the recovery is coming out of their pockets. In Akron, Mitty Hicks, 3 News.